Hey guys, Chris here with Phantom Buster. And in this video, we're gonna look at the Twitter follower collector Phantom, available on phantombuster.com, which will help us extract the followers of a Twitter account. All right, let's get started. All right, so to get started using this Phantom, we wanna head on over to phantombuster.com and click on Browse Phantoms. Next, I'm gonna go to the left-hand side and sort by Twitter Phantoms, and I'm gonna choose Twitter Follower Collector. If you click on the title, you'll be taken to the Phantom Overview page where you'll get a full rundown of exactly how to use this Phantom. And if you click on the Tutorial tab, you'll get a step-by-step -step summary of how to put this Phantom to use for your lead generation strategy on Twitter. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna click on Use This Phantom. Now you should already have the Phantom Buster Chrome extension installed on your browser. So as long as you're logged into Twitter, all you need to do is click on connect to Twitter. Then click save. Now here's where you tell the Phantom which profiles you want to scrape. You have a few options here. You can use the URL of a single Twitter profile, or you can use the URL of a Google Sheet or CSV file containing a list of Twitter profile URLs. Just make sure the CSV or Google Sheets files are publicly available. Next, you have some spreadsheet settings so that if you have more than one column in your spreadsheet, you can name the column containing the profile URLs. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna use a single Twitter profile. So I'll go up to Twitter to the profile that I wanna scrape and go to the URL and select all and right click and choose copy and then in the input section, I'm gonna right click and choose paste. Then click save. Now here's where you choose the behavior of your phantom. You can choose the number of followers to extract per profile. If the phantom does not scrape all of the followers of one profile during a launch, it will pick up from where it left off in the next launch. And if you leave this empty, the phantom will attempt to extract as many followers as possible. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna type in 10. Now you can choose the number of profiles to process per launch. So if you're using a spreadsheet, you can tell how many profiles in the spreadsheet you wanna process. This only applies if you're using a spreadsheet or CSV file as the input. And if you leave this empty, the Phantom will attempt to process all profiles by default. You can also choose to split the results file when extracting a large amount of followers, 200,000 or more, and this only works with a single profile as an input. And you can also choose watcher mode, which will reprocess the same profile URL each launch to look for new followers. And again, this only works with a single profile with less than 200,000 followers as an input. Finally, you can choose to rename the result.csv file that gets output. Or if you're using a spreadsheet as the input, you can tell the phantom which fields you wanna keep in your final result.csv file. For now, everything looks good here, so I'm gonna close this and click on Save. Now here's where you choose your launch settings. You can choose to run this manually, repeatedly, repeatedly advance every time another Phantom finishes, or just once. If you choose repeatedly, you can choose in the drop-down section how many times per day you wanna run this Phantom. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna choose manually. You can also choose your notification settings in case of an error, in case of success, or other advanced notification settings. For now, I'm just gonna choose none. And under the advanced settings, you can set up things like a proxy or other critical advanced settings and folder management settings. For now, everything looks good, so I'll close this and click on save. Now this will take me to the Twitter follower collector Phantom console page. If I wanna launch this Phantom, all I need to do is click on launch. Now, depending on how many followers and profiles you're collecting, this may take some time. All right, so my Twitter follower collector Phantom is finished running. If I wanna preview the result.csv file, all I need to do is click on the I preview icon. This will give me a breakdown of all the Twitter followers that I've just scraped from this profile. If I wanna download this, all I need to do is click on download CSV and choose where I wanna save it on my hard drive. All right, so that was how to run the Twitter Follower Collector Phantom. To get started using this Phantom, all you need to do is go to phantombuster.com and create your account. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.